guys okay so this video is going to show you how I put on my foundation with an airbrush machine now I do use liquid foundation but there are days where let's say like there's a special occasion coming up and there's going to be a ton of pictures being taken I love to use my airbrush machine and this is by Dynair there's also one by Tem2 but I have I never tried it, but I got the Dynair one for Christmas and I am in love with it. And I just love putting on the foundation. It's so easy. The only downside is it doesn't come with a instruction manual when you first get it. So I kind of like had to learn through YouTube how to use it. But this machine is so easy to use. And this video is just going to show you like what I do to prep my face. Um, what, what colors I use, how I mix them, and then like just the little methods that I use to do my airbrush makeup. So go ahead and start off with a clean face and let's get this started. Okay, so the first thing that I already did off camera was I primed my face and I used the Urban Decay de slick in a tube mattifying gel and the label is completely worn off. I use this so much and I have a review on this. If I remember to put the link, I'll put it up here or in the information box, but I'll let you guys know. So this is another primer that I really like also, it's by Urban Decay. It's the Complexion Primer Potion for Pore Perfecting. It's a wonderful primer, so these two I recommend. This is for um, like if you have oily skin or large pores on your face like I do. So before I actually use my airbrush machine. I'm going to do it some concealer work, some green concealer work because I have some pimples and I want to cover those up. So just go ahead and cover your pimples with a really light coating of the concealer. It doesn't have to be super thick because we're going to be blending it out. I'm just going to use this brush right here. It's just a craft store um, angled brush. I'm going to spray it with a little fix plus. And then I'm just gonna blend out the concealer. And you just wanna blend out the concealer until it's like a really pale green or just a really pale wash of whatever concealer you're using. So my airbrush machine is all plugged in and the well is clean and we're ready to put in our foundation. Actually, before we put on our foundation, the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that there's no excess inside the actual compressor. So I'm going to turn it on. What you're going to do is change this dial to 12 o'clock. You want it facing upwards. Between 11 and 12 o'clock is what you want to do for foundation. So right there. So you want to make sure that there's nothing inside the compressor tube, so I'm just going to turn it on high. Then into a paper towel, I'm going to make sure that I get no like foundation coming out. As you can see, the paper towel is clean. So to put in the foundation, you want it to be off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix two colors because there are some that are light and then there's some that are dark and I kind of need like a happy medium between the two. So I'm going to take golden olive and as you can see, it's like kind of separated. So what you want to do to mix it is just shake it and then you'll hear the little steel balls in there you just keep shaking it up because it's a water-based foundation so it needs to be shaken before you use it and there you go you have mixed foundation and then I'm going to take tawny which is like the darker color so as you can see I'm like kind of like a mix between the two but I need to mix them in all the way so I'm just mixing it up and there you go now, preferably, you want about six to eight drops of foundation to cover your entire face. So I'm going to take about six drops of golden olive. And then I'm going to put two drops of tawny into here. Now, you don't want to put this directly on your face because, as you can see, it is not mixed. You don't want an uneven application of airbrush foundation on your face. So we're going to mix this by a method called back bubbling. So turn on the compressor. Take your paper towel, and then you're going to block off the airflow, and then you'll see those bubbles. That's your foundation mixing. So when you go to apply your foundation, it's an even color. You have no splotchinesses and you have no uneven different random colors all over your face. Go ahead and spray it onto your paper towel and that's when you know you're good to go. So I'm going to take my mirror 
And let's start airbrushing. Okay, so I'm going in with the first layer of the airbrush makeup. Now keep in mind that we are going to be adding a few more layers of this airbrush makeup on. So if you're looking at yourself after the first layer and it just doesn't look as flawless as you want it to look, don't worry because we are going to be adding two or three more layers on later. Um, basically, I'm holding the airbrush gun five to six inches away from my face and I'm pulling back on the lever about 75% of the way. And you don't want to release the lever until you have completed your first all around face layer of the airbrush makeup. Same thing with the second layer, I'm just applying the airbrush makeup, holding the gun five to six inches away from my face and pulling back on the lever about 75% of the way. And again, do not release the lever until you have completed covering your face with the airbrush makeup. Now I'm going in and doing some spot touch-ups on my pimples. I'm just going over those areas where I put the green concealer. And as you can see, I'm holding the airbrush gun way closer to my face. I'm holding it about one to two inches from my face and I've lightened my pressure on the actual lever. So I'm instead of holding it 75% of the way back, I'm holding it maybe about 25% of the way back. And then what you can do after that is just go over your face and then just blend all those spots out. This just ensures that you have a much more even coverage of your airbrush foundation and that it just doesn't look all nasty and spotty and splotchy or anything like that. And I went over my pimples and redness twice just to have a little bit more of an even coverage. And you want to keep doing that until you see the change. You don't want to look for the makeup to come out, but you want to see the change in your actual face. And then to finish it all up, I just go over my face one last time with the last coating of the airbrush makeup. And voila! This is the finished product of the Dynair airbrush foundation. Like this is my airbrush foundation routine. I will finish my makeup up and I will talk to you guys So later. that's pretty much it. It's really simple and then from there you could put on a setting powder if you want to. I did use a setting powder. I used um, my favorite one actually. It's the Rimmel Stay Matte. I use that with a large fluffy brush like this one to just set in my foundation. And then I just contoured, added a little bit of blush, and did the rest of my face makeup. And this is the completed look. So that's it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!